Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Last time we left off having finally departed Seattle and arrived at the Mako Ballistics facility, so let's get moving. Twenty years ago, the Illuminati convinced J.C. Denton to neutralize Bob Page in Area 51 before Page could achieve his plans of global dictatorship. Well, here we are at the Mako Ballistics be exterior. If you approach any closer to the Mako Ballistics campus, you will have to bypass the facility's defenses on your own. You will first gain entry to the main complex. Mako Ballistics is a very inward-looking, distrustful enterprise, so expect automated surveillance and armed guards. All right, so inside the dumpster I found food and a med kit. In this one, there's a concussion grenade. And next to the dumpster, over to the side, there is a multi-tool. Our new primary goal is simply enter main complex. Enter the main building of the Mako facility. Expect heavy security. So... <coughs> The main trade-off, if you didn't pay Sid to fly you here, is you have to play more level, but, you know, I enjoy playing. I like seeing everything, and even if I had hired Sid, I would come out here anyway to explore the whole map, so there's really no reason to pay him, unless you just want to skip parts of these maps. Alright, well they still take two wax, but now they explode. I don't think that's good news. But let's just keep using this food. I'm down to four pieces now. But I've been skipping med kit, so I'm not exactly worried. I mean, let's take the let's take this maintenance door. See what's in here. That was odd. Well, what we ultimately ended up dealing with there was a hunter-seeker robot and three guards. But now they're all handled. Guard. Guard. And guard. Let's see what all they dropped. A flash bomb, an SMG, ammo, ammo, sniper rifle. What about the third guy? There he is. There's his stuff. Flamethrower, and ammo. Alright. Go check out the vents now. There's a multi tool in here. Radioactive barrel. I'd rather... <coughs> Devastating. I just had to make sure there was nothing next to it.
Oh, and before I forget, let's grab that medkit I skipped. And the multi-tool. Let's just go around the radioactive barrel. That seems smart. Got another multi-tool up here on the right. We'll keep going. Here we have a crowbar and an energy cell. Let's chat with this guy now that he's done panicking. Don't tell me. You're one of the big city reporters. Thinks he's gonna bluff the management and they're giving him a peek at the new weapon. How does a groundskeeper know about a classified prototype? I was in on a consultation. That sucker they built shoots through walls. I'm supposed to keep an eye on the ecological impacts and not go too close to the rear of the complex. I'd really like to see it. Well, they only let me go as far as the storage closet, but for the right price, I could give you the code to the front door. Let's not pay him. Maybe later. You didn't hear this from me, but in case you want some spending money, the employee ATM is in Cargo Bay 02 across the courtyard. They never updated the firmware, which means it's pretty easy to hack. Uh, or so I've heard. Alright. Let's see what else is in here. We've got an increased range weapon mod. An ammo clip. I really need this guy to get out of the way. A med kit. Perfect. Let's drop the multi-tool that didn't go on my tool bell. Really, dude? Two ammo clips and a med kit. And he's got some messages, too. This is a security alert. We have information on a possible external threat to this campus. As always, discuss your work with no one outside the company. Communicate electronically only on the Mako network. And starting now, no visitors. Our automated systems won't care whether it's a suicide bomber or your grandma. Be safe. Now let's make a great weapon. This is a security alert. We have information on a possible external threat to this campus. As always, discuss your work with no one okay. outside the company. Communicate electronically only now, on the Mako network. Calling. And starting now, no visitors. Our automated systems won't care whether it's a suicide bomber or your Be safe. Come on! It just won't let me move around. That's what I mean. This game is just so clunky with things like this. Okay. Another entrance to the main area. Let's roll through the vent. That multi-tool went on the tool belt. This is exactly where I wanted it. Good. Carry lab IV at all times. Can't open the vent because there's a crate in the way. Let's just roll out the door. And we find ourselves back out here. Now, of course, I can open the vent. But now, of course, it doesn't matter either. No smoking in the Mako Just one more hit of electrostatic discharge. And I ought to be able to take cameras out in one whack. That'll be great, because it'll mean I won't trip the alarms when I disable them like that. Of course, it may have been silly of me to do it that way, since the computer's right here. Yep. We can turn it off. Anyway, there's nothing else down here. either need the access code or explosives to get inside. Yep, there's the front door. <laughs> Entrance to Cargo Bay 2. Anything over here? Alex what, doesn't even 
seem interested in climbing up. Oh, there he goes. Good man. Of course, it looks like there's actually nothing back here. As odd as that seems to me. Cargo Bay 2. Remember, bots are programmed to neutralize any unidentified individuals. Roof access. Stop to this. Uh -oh. Here we go. There's a guard there. I wasn't paying attention. SMG, concussion grenade, ammo clip. Multi tool to get in here. It's like an EMP grenade and the med kit. Well worth the price. Of course, I now have more EMP grenades than I can actually carry. But I had need of a med kit, so... Roof access, protected by gas lasers. We go down here. There's an ATM. Excellent. 600 credits. I'm not sure what's in here. Good work. You found an alternate way in. Oh, it's just a way into Mako. Let's not waste the multi tools. Instead, since I have a spare EMP grenade anyway, let's knock out the lasers. And then come on up here. In this room, there's another multi-tool, which thankfully obeys and goes on my tool belt. A concussion grenade, an ammo clip. Is there anything out here? I don't think so. Remember, bots are programmed to neutralize any unidentified individuals. Can I get up there? It'd be fun, but I don't think I can. So let's head up these stairs. <laughs> this is where you get dropped off if you hire Sid. <laughs> uh. I know there's something up here. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it's... I think it's... I think it is back down on this roof. Uh, ah, yes. There we go. We got... Three pieces of food. Sniper rifle. And an ammo clip. Two ammo clips. Alright, now let's head back through here. Please remember to clean the top to our building facility if you can wait for the options. like to head is over here. Damage is severe. Mm. 
We've got the camera. We've got the turret. Good work. You found an alternate way in. All right. There we go. Goal complete. Enter main complex. So let's... The Hunter Seeker bot is smaller and more maneuverable than a military bot, but its energy weapon system makes it almost as lethal. Anyway, now we're inside Mako Ballistics. Perfect. Mako Ballistics interior. Ah, uh, there's the vent I came through above me. So let's see what's on the table. So the order hired you to kill the chief scientist on the Magrail project. A pretty way to do business. The WTO prefers that you spare the scientist and instead upload the gun schematics to our Seattle headquarters. By law, all innovations must be registered and patented through one of our offices. Alright, two goals received. And they are contradictory. Primary goal, Magrail assassinate scientist. Order, kill the scientist in charge of the Magrail program. This will end his research and make it impossible to access his prototype, at least for the time being. Magrail upload spec, WTO. Acquire a Magrail weapon so that the WTO can scan it and upload a schematic to their Seattle office. Expect strong security. The head scientist may be willing to grant you access. Since I'm not killing people, I'm going to side with the WTO. Regardless, that, that makes up my mind on the goal choice, and I usually side with the WTO even if I'm not playing non-lethally simply because Magrail's a pretty sweet weapon. It can shoot through walls, just like the janitor said. So, let's get this message. This is a security alert. We have information on a possible external threat to this campus. As always, discuss your work with no one outside the company. Communicate electronically only on the Mako network. And starting now, no visitors. Our automated systems won't care whether it's a suicide bomber or your grandma. Be safe. Now let's make a great weapon. This is security okay, alert. same stuff. Have information on a possible external Let's read the book. Threat. Sneak peek, Magrail. Inside info for our preferred customers. Besides its impressive accuracy and damage ratios, this lightweight and effective high-energy weapon affords you the ability to shoot through most walls and obstacles, a must-have for any collector. This campus. As always, discuss your work with no one. Datacube, see you tonight. Meet me in the bio lab at midnight. Here's the access code. Bring your tools. We can't go to management without proof. And outside the company, communicate electronically only. Key on code Mako Ballistics Bio Lab no stored in data vault. Our automated systems won't care whether it's a suicide Well, that is excellent. Be safe. Now let's make a great weapon. Well, here's a camera. Disable the camera. You make a lot of noise for someone who wants to hide. There's an SSC guard. Maybe two. Looks like two. Somebody knocked him out. Oh, and this buddy just killed him with a grenade. All right, well, instead of taking the brute force route on the camera, I'm going to try instead. Well, too late, I quick save. Get the fool with the grenades first. Jeez, somebody knocked him out. I thought you'd get. Ah! Oh God! I never... uh, what did you do? Oh, good grief! They are big fans of torching their friends, grenading their friends. Let's get the guy with the flamethrower. 
soon as I find him anyway. Okay, let's get the turret. Turret's handled. Here we've got an ammo clip, an SMG, two concussion grenades, another ammo clip, and a pistol. Go ahead and use my last bit of food. And a med kit. Replace it there. Got another ammo clip there. Go ahead and rush the other camera. I don't see any turrets out here. I do need to find the flamethrower guard. There he is. Alright, let's stash his body too. Alright, I think everything's clear now. There's our ammo clip. He had a flamethrower, another ammo clip. Don, have you seen the latest ballistics from Project Xenos? We finally did it. Now we've just got to fix that bug in the threat assessment firmware. Don, have you seen okay. the latest ballistics from Project Xenos? We finally did it. Now we've just got to fix that bug in the threat assessment firmware. Well, I could have just turned off the cameras there. That would have made more sense. All right, let's, let's see if this guy will talk to me. It's like, no. Guard station's open. That's a good thing. I don't need an extra energy cell. In here, we have a refire rate mod. An ammo clip, a flash bomb, an SMG, and another med kit. That looks like everything. I don't feel so good. He's just unconscious. He didn't want to talk to me, so... I guess I don't want to talk to him either. What's up? Advanced weapon development is in there. There's a vent in the ceiling. I don't know what's down those stairs. Or down these stairs, except a security bot. Let's try and get the bot. Let's get this spider bot, too. Fewer spider bots is always a good thing, if you ask me. Now well, this one pops me out down here. To service tunnels. Is that the second entrance? I think so. Maybe not. This looks more complicated. We'll do that in a minute. Let's check in here. Stun prod, another gas grenade, phosphorus flare, a power box, which I don't really care about. Alright, let's head into the service tunnels. Data cube, weapons lab access. SSC is upgrading security effective immediately. Here's the new code to the weapons test facility. In addition, only technicians with at least amber level clearance will be admitted. Interesting. We got a multi-tool, an ammo clip, and a med kit, and an energy cell. I don't really need much of that. Let's see, I got a vent grate underneath me. Or I can just head down the hall. I say... Let's take the vent first. 
see what exactly I pass underneath. Well, there was a multi-tool down here. And there's a guard. Let's get him. Knocked him out like a boss. Oh, we got to skip some lasers. I was going to say, I wonder if my electrostatic discharge can disarm lasers. Now I know the answer is yes, it can. That's pretty awesome. The way it looks like there's nothing else up here. He had a pistol, an ammo clip, and an EMP grenade. None of which I particularly need. You see, this game's a lot easier than Deus Ex 1 because so much of what I'm carrying is already redundant. Anyway. Let's see what's inside here. Ammo clip and an energy cell. This one. A combat knife and a crowbar. already bagged that robot. Which is nice. I'm all the way on the other end of the uh, complex from where I was. Let's see what this computer can do for me. Ah. I was able to shut down the security bot Biolab, Lobby, and Weapons Lab. In here... I can't carry any more concussion grenades. We've got an ammo clip, a sniper rifle. Let me... Oh, come on, Alex. Just climb down the ladder. I'd like to make sure that I haven't missed anything in the tunnels. Ah, yes. There is one of the other entrances. Oh, now that we're out here. Map change to go to the bio lab. All right, let's not do that just yet. Guard here. Hmm. Uh, uh. I don't feel so good. Let's just knock everybody out. That's how I like to do things. The guard dropped a concussion grenade, an ammo clip, and a pistol. Didn't I skip a med kit somewhere down here? Or was it back at the beginning? I think it was back at the beginning. Where the service tunnels are. Yes, there it is. All right, now let's head back there. Things are closing down. I don't think I have the keypad for this yet. Oh, maybe I do. I do, but we won't do that till we're done with the rest. Should be obvious that's where the uh, mag rail is. So let's head down here. Here's where we had our last little hostile encounter. 
the receptionist desk, there is a multi-tool, a book, wound ballistics. Wound ballistics studies the effect of penetrating missile projectiles on targeted living tissue. A bullet's objective is to crush and destroy the tissue it hits directly, and to cause additional damage by stretching the adjacent tissues. Tissue disruption is a product of the mass and velocity of the projectile, and the type of tissue that is hit. Data cube. See you tonight. Meet me in the bio lab at midnight. Here's the access code. Bring your tools. We can't go to management without proof. Sheila, we're still waiting on that inventory audit. In particular, we need numbers for servo mechs, energy clips, rotator bearings, and coffee from your department. Sheila, we're still waiting on that inventory audit. In particular, we need numbers for servo mechs, energy clips, rotator bearings, and coffee from your department. All right. Another computer. Allied turret. We'll leave it shut down. Nothing over here. I believe this is just where the front door is. Yes. Travel to Mako Ballistics Exterior. So let's head into here. There's another multi tool on this cart. It's well behaved, it goes on to my tool belt. Now we're coming into advanced weapon development. Let me check this vent right quick. Deal with that spider bot I've been hearing since I came in. There we go. Ugh, I hate listening to those things crawl around. As the mages in Thief Gold would say, Sweet Silence Returns. Up the ladder, into the lab. I need a beer. Wish I'd listened. Alright, let's head in here. Can I help you? Are you the one who designed the mag rail? Chief Engineer, how'd you get down here? I wandered off the tour. So you're custom designing weapons for this group calling itself the Templars? Talk to sales, I just built the thing. Don't ask me why we want to arm a bunch of bigots. Genetic purists. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you believe in your work. If the Templars are so appalled by body modification, what do they plan to do with 50,000 magnetic pulse firearms, hmm? What if I wanted to take a look at the prototype? Doesn't matter much to me. Sure, take a look. Go over to the weapon case and get ready to press that button. Meanwhile, I'll unlock the controls from the safety of my office. No offense, but I'm not standing out in the open while a stranger is fingering the trigger of the mag rail. I'm not going to kill him, so... Thanks. I promise not to break it. Just wait by the case. I'll unlock the access panel from my office. Go received. Mag rail. Open weapon case. WTO, press access panel button to open the mag rail case. Head scientist will unlock the controls. These guys are all friendly, so I'll leave them alone. Dr. Manis, we recognize that someone of your stature at Mago Ballistics is involved in several top-ranking development projects. We also know that we've given you millions of credits for this exclusive contract, so we feel we are within rights to demand that you meet your deadlines and provide another demonstration as soon as possible. Dr. Manis, right. we recognize that someone of your stature at Mago Two Ballistics ammo clips on this table. development projects. We also know now, before I deal with the mag rail, let's go up to his office because it seals off after we take the mag rail, so let's... There's a med kit in here, which I don't need. Let's listen to this message. The plasmids for the neonatal experiment are off the charts again. Can you give me a hand with them? The plasmids for okay. the neonatal experiment are off the charts again. Can you give me now a hand that we're down here... 
Let me see what else there is. There's a multi-tool next to the mag rail. Same old thing. And here's a security computer. Should have known they wouldn't like that. Okay, we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the security computer be. Can I help you? Are you the chief? I want to talk. To doesn't skip the tip. What the fuck doesn't? Thanks. Just. All right. Just get ready to press the button. Let's talk the doctor to death, too. Should have realized I needed to do that. The for the neonatal experiment are off the charts again. Can you give me a hand with- Hurry up, this could mean my job. I'd like to see him try to fire me, though. Just get ready to press the button. Alright. Let's talk to the guard now. Should have been here an hour ago. They let me fire one. That beam was clean. Whoa, like a laser. Hard to believe it's actually a matter stream. They had to put up an energy shield behind the targets because the beam goes through walls. Must be some sort of quantum effects on those particles. That's my theory. Of course, they don't tell me anything. They just needed a sharpshooter to verify the real world usability. I guess you're one of the buyers. You look like you're from a pretty <coughs> hardcore outfit. Must be a lot of undercover work. I'm not supposed to talk to the buyers, so don't repeat anything I just said. It's just hard to keep quiet after an experience like that. That beam was clean. All it was right. Like a laser. Hard Time to. to a map. I mean, there's no finality of factional commitment yet, but this is the point where you have to make your decision about which goal to complete here. Once we hit this, we've committed to the WTO, so I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Goal complete. Mag rail. Open weapon case. As you can see, his office is now sealed. No way in. We don't have the key code. So, let's get the mag rail. Intellectual property has been secured and will be analyzed by our experts. Well done. We will have another mission for you as soon as you learn where Dr. Nassif went. Look for clues in the biolab on the second floor. Those nano manipulators in the Minister of Culture's penthouse were headed for a scientist there. Probably an Apostle Corps sleep-in agent. <laughs> Goal complete, mag rail upload spec. Goal received, Dr. Nassif search biolab. Anyway, mag rail. Fires a narrow but extremely powerful energy beam. Alternate firing mode delivers an EMP blast that passes through walls. That's all pretty awesome. I'm act I actually am going to hold on to the mag rail and I'm gonna lose the prox mines. Both categories of them. Since I never use them anyway. I'm much more inclined to use grenades. Okay, now I've got some room in my inventory. So, primary goal, Dr. Nassif search biolab, WTO. Search the biolab on the second floor for clues to Dr. Nassif's whereabouts. Use the ground floor elevator to access the second floor. If you sided with the order, you still get the exact same uh, new goal to go to the biolab. So, let's roll. I do not understand why you insist on following the WTO's greed and self-interest. Think about all the people that will be endangered now that they have the schematics for its weapon. May Her Holiness help you find a way out of the WTO's snare. You wanted me to murder somebody, biatch. Why the hell would I do that? I think I saw something. Ah, back me up! Well, I have to admit I... didn't see those guys coming. Let's not be stupid. Let's take the vent, drop in behind those guys, and get them that way. <laughs> I really need more standard biomod canisters. I gotta get my combat strength up. I do not understand why you insist on following the WTO's greed and self-interest. Think about all the people that will be endangered now that they have the schematics for its weapon. May Her Holiness help you find a way out of the WTO's snare. Let's drop in behind these guys. They should be much easier to sneak up on now. Ah! 
Let's take a look. Ah, yes. That was that was much cleaner all around. Concussion grenade, shotgun, SMG, two ammo clips. None of this is useful to me. So let's head over to the bio lab. Up we go. Shared Omar Consciousness facilitates the delivery of rewards and penalties for a customer's actions toward the group. Alright, here we are. Let's talk to these gals. Dr. Nassif said to carry on like normal and wait for an extraction. If they won't smuggle us out of the country, I say we do it ourselves. Mako isn't stupid. They'll know they've been infiltrated if the entire bioinformatics team disappears overnight. As long as I'm on the other side of the ocean when that happens. They left behind one of the Taurus's directors. I don't think they're going to leave us high and dry. Famous last words. We interrogated one of Captain Lamar's people. She said that the scientists in this laboratory are the ones who smuggled Dr. Nassif and her colleagues out of the city. See if you can find a clue to Dr. Nassif's whereabouts in the lab director's office. Let's talk to these girls. I heard you talking about Dr. Nassif. This is a private laboratory. Stake your business. I'm interested in contacting her. I was told that I could find her here. You were mistaken. I'm from the Tarsus program. Dr. Nassif would want me to be taken back into custody. Tarsus? Oh well. We don't know anything about the trials. Don't tell me there's been an escape. I warned Dr. Nassif. I said that if she wasn't careful, they'd end up with a J.C. Denton on their hands. I guess you're here to wipe us out. Like J.C. Denton wiped out the people who ran his trials. Well, we aren't as diabolical as MJ-12 was. I hope you aren't planning to trigger another collapse. I guess it depends. Is there a connection? I mean, between the Tarsus experiments and the initial biomod research? Not that I know of. But Dr. Nassif did give me a strange reply when I mentioned the Dentons. How so? She said that in the life sciences, one should never be surprised when the snake swallows its own tail. Just like her to flaunt her position. A pretty cryptic comment. Enough talk. You've put us in danger by coming here. Sorry. Just trying not to get left behind. Talk to the Chicago project director. He's on the other side of the biolab. I'm pretty sure he ran the trials, but he doesn't tell us much. <laughs> director Carnegie from Chicago will handle your inquiries. Dr. Nassif would never have told you to come here. You have no idea what the consequences would be if you were captured. You should leave while you can. You should leave while you can. We are not permitted to know the identities of the test subjects. Please, I know too much already, and my living situation in Lower Seattle is not secure. You will be followed and we will be questioned. Try not to make it any harder on us. We have nothing further to discuss. We have nothing further to discuss. Alright. I don't feel so good. I just like knocking people out. Nope. Uh. Blah de blah de blah. It's live. Ah, that's it. Uh. All right, I need to kite the robot into here. I don't want his explosion to kill anyone. Alright, good. SMG. Well, folks, I don't know what happened there. The game just suddenly... Crashed all the way out to desktop, completely shut down, so let's hope the save's not totally corrupt or we'll be in trouble.
I keep forgetting it's going to cut me off when I hit load. I was saying, let's hope the save isn't corrupt or we'll be in trouble. Looks like it's, it's not. I hate that guy and his spider bot. <laughs> oh, damn it! I actually had... I did pretty well the time that the game crashed. Watch out! Ah! Oh, Lord! <laughs> SMG, ammo clip. They're not dead. I don't think the SSC guard is dead either. Nope, everyone unconscious. Good. Let's get the guy inside the station now. Shotgun, ammo clip. Alright. Spider bomb. Ammo clip, uh, med kit on the top shelf, and a data cube. Stan's office. While the project director's at the other location, here's the code to his office so you can access the subject dossiers. Key code: project director's office stored in stored in data vault. I don't think there's much else to do. Let me check out this room. Holocom unit, nothing. Down here, there's a data cube. Experiment log, gray. Electrical sensitivity, skin, excellent resistance, some scarring. Nervous system, quite resilient. Note, subject is increasingly hostile. Did not have this problem with radiation and toxic gases tests. Handle with care during fire and heat resistance testing. Login, Mako Biolab computer access stored in data vault. Well, that just sounds cruel. All of it. Anyway, we got a rat, cat in cages. This table, there's a multi-tool, which does not behave and go into my tool belt stack, which is unfortunate. Here we've got a message to listen to. It looks like the phrenology team is going to make their deadline after all. Get in touch with me so we can plan the next phase. It looks like the phrenology okay. team is going to make their deadline after all. Get in touch with me so we can plan the next phase. Specimen X07. I have little doubt that's the gray. Door release. Closer to home now. He's not mad. Your science is too cruel. Silence is coming. They will pay for their trespassing. We want to return to our kind. No more pain and experiments. Closer to home now. Well, he's happy that we let him out. I guess that's good. Let's head through here. Well, let's see what he does first. Kind of got to make sure he doesn't kill anybody. All right. Let's roll into the director's office. Here's the director. It's like there's a guard up there. Repairing too. wounds. Finished repairing damage. <laughs> Guard drops concussion grenade, ammo clip, SMG. Alright, got the turret disabled. Now I can talk to the director. You. Yeah? Your instructions were to remain in hiding until one of us contacted you. You look like the man on the holocom who warned Dr. Nassif about the security breach. I guess someone put you on our trail. Didn't take him long to get to you, did it? I'm just looking for some answers. Tell me about the Magrail project and what it has to do with Apostle Corps. 
Apostle Corps is not in the weapons business. Our people here control the biolab, that's it. We've been investigating the railgun project ourselves because it looks like Mako is gearing up for a large arms shipment, 500,000 units. We think the guns are headed for the Knights Templar. Since when are there half a million Templars? That's as big as the security force of the WTO. Exactly. The Order and WTO are just as worried as we are. The post-collapse balance of power is quite precarious. What do the Templars want? World domination? A world in their own image, perhaps. One that wouldn't include Apostle Corps. They categorically oppose all Biomod technologies. We think they might have staged the Chicago attack merely to ensure that our laboratory was destroyed. Destroy a whole city? For one laboratory? If our other facilities survive, you will learn why. Until then, to reveal more would be unwise. I want to see Dr. Nassif. Dr. Nassif will contact you. Now leave at once. You are too valuable to us to be risking your life in foolish expeditions. Don't trust this guy. Keep looking. We need to know Dr. Nassif's location. Search the director's private office off this room for clues to her whereabouts. A data cube or V-mail may point the way. Please, listen to me. The secrecy of our organization is vital, not just to you, but to billions of people who will be affected by our research. Patience. All of us, Dr. Nassif included, were once trainees like you. You've been treated fairly. In the post-collapse world, every stable organization is a secret society. To be visible is to be a target. Don't blame Apostle Corps for a system we didn't create. Mako Ballistics is honeycombed with small research teams like ours. Tentacles of outside corporations, seeds of new ones, internal factions. All new associations of citizens infiltrate the old ones, rather than exposing themselves to the sort of chaos we witnessed in Chicago. Dr. Nassif does not want to be found. In time, you will join us. Of that I can be certain. I know every detail of your life. I was the project director of the Tarsus facility in Chicago. You should leave. Patience. All, All right. of us, Dr. Nassif included, were once trainees like you. He's done now. Yes, I will spend two multi-tools to get a biomod I'm canister. Like a freak. Finally, I can upgrade my strength enhancement to level two. At level three, maximum melee damage, throwing distance, damage to targets, and carrying capacity. Hooray. Alright. Operation normal. Now we've got medical equipment on board. A multi-tool here and another message. We're seeing some aberrant behaviors in the target locking mechanism in Project Serpentine. It looks like there might be something off with the Helonics. Take a look and let me know what you find. We're seeing some aberrant behaviors in the target locking mechanism. There's a vent over here. It looks like there might be something off with the Helonics. Take a look and let me I suspect know it'll just take me into that room. But it pays to be sure. Pack of cigarettes, and a book. Jones Book of Military Transgenics, The Rock. One of the latest developments in military transgenic application, The Rock has shown great promise in experimental implementation and military testing. <laughs> the original head of the program attempted to use orangutans as the base unit, but results from the passive ape were disastrous. A new staff of researchers applied a biomodified strain of Papio or Sinus, or Baboon. <laughs> The beast has shown tremendous utility as a military unit. It responds well to brutal leadership, works well in a pack, and is a vicious combatant. The Ruck is about 80 kilograms unequipped and is usually armed with a set of varied prox mines. The unit can maneuver in almost total darkness and is equipped to be undetectable to most sensors and listening devices. Its decision-making ability is weaker than most field-grade AIs, but the affordability of the unit offsets its weakness. Commanders of units to be deployed with rocks are encouraged to issue bolt casters to all personnel. Tranquilizing is often needed prior to transport, and there is a slim chance that the unit could become hostile to allied troops. Diagnostics passed. Okay, we can get into the office this way. I am going to make sure there's nothing in the vent. Ooh, gas beams. Irrelevant, thanks to my awesome electrostatic discharge. Alright. I see nothing else in here, except... We got a med kit on the desk. 
an energy cell here on the ground, which I still don't need. Hey, I did get an extra inventory slot slot. Score. And let's get the message. Just confirming my departure. No contact from Cairo yet. I don't know what we'll do if headquarters gets hit as well. More after I arrive in Egypt. So Apostle Corps has some sort of home base at Cairo. I think you found your next line of investigation. Your pilot will be waiting for you on the roof. Goal complete. Dr. Nassif search biolab. Goal received. Leave for Cairo. Meet your pilot on the roof to leave for Cairo. Go back down through the main facility, go outside, and follow the, follow the roof access signs back to the drop point. Dr. Nassif does not want to be found. I am sure that somewhere along the way I'm going to run into new guards. Maybe not. We'll find out! Her Holiness is the Order's global leader, but the organization is comprised of local entities called Shards, each headed by a Luminon. Is serious. Alright, there is a new guard out here somewhere. But with my second level of strength enhancement, I'd wager he's probably much easier to deal with. Perfect. Let's head out. The Order was founded shortly after the collapse, attracting many of those who lost family and faith in the catastrophe. I bet there are new guards out here, too. Which we will, of course, have to deal with. I can hear them patrolling, wherever they are. Well, there's one. <coughs> Good. I can get now I can get them in two whacks when they know I'm there, and one if they're unaware. You're going uh, oh. Both of those are pretty serious upgrades. Alright. There's two new guards. Sniper rifle ammo clip, pistol ammo clip, and concussion grenade. None of those are particularly compelling. Where are these? Are there more? There's number three. <coughs> Down it goes. That's gonna be so nice. Flamethrower and ammo clip. It's gonna be so nice once I get this up to level three. I should be able to get them in one whack. No matter what. I think something's going on. Yep, one more. Got him before he got the shot off, which is good. He had a bolt caster, no, an SMG, ammo, and a concussion grenade. I think that's everybody. So it is. Here's the chopper. We're headed to Cairo. Thanks for sticking around. What are the chances that you could take me to Cairo? Cairo would be an acceptable destination. I haven't yet searched Cairo for my passenger. Is that what you do? Go from city to city looking for one person? It's an unusual assignment, but I'm committed to carrying it out. Let's go. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, I'm ready. Bottom line, with the load zones and everything, Deus Ex 1 did everything it could to achieve total immersion. There were almost no interruptions in the experience. This game Immersion is broken every time you hit a load zone. It reminds you that you're playing a game. I hate that about it. Anyway, Mako Ballistics is good for us to call it a call it a video. So next time, we will get rolling in Cairo. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.
Bye-bye.